Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, SAPSD and ABAP League Support. It is continuation series on SAPSD Support Project Real Time Tickets. There is one ticket raised by business saying that they have applied billing block in the order, header level or item level, or in the delivery, header level or item level. So wherever they apply the billing block, still invoices are getting created. So the intention of the billing block is in the order or delivery is to stop creating the invoice for that transaction. But in this case, it's keep on getting created only. It's not stopping, even though billing block is there in the order or delivery. Now let's see what might be the reason why we have that issue. Let me log into the system. Okay, there is one table called TVFSP. The TVFSP is the table which will be giving the information about billing block along with billing type combination. Okay. I simply add billing type F2 and if you click on execute or F8, we see here this F2 will be assigned to the these many billing blocks. That means if you assign any other billing blocks in the order or delivery apart from this, then system will still allow to create the invoice. The reason here is that that billing block not assigned to the billing type F2. A similar way, let me show you that similar way. Let's check for L2 as well. If I look for debit memo, see for debit memo, only 09 will be applied. If you assign any other billing types in the order delivery, it won't stop creating the invoice Do you see these are the list of billing types one more table is the tvfs tvfs list of billing blocks and tvfsp is list of billing blocks assigned to billing types. Okay, if I execute here, you see I have several billing blocks are there, but still only few of them only applicable to the relevant billing types, not all. And uh, if you see the copy control routine, okay, let me access the transaction code VTF L. It's a delivery related billing copy control. That is um, VTFL delivery related related billing copy controls. And let me look for being type of two with LF. I double click here to see the copying requirements. For F2 to LF combination, 003 has been assigned. Let me open the 003 and select this three and click on source text. That means it displays the code written inside this routine number three. And if you closely observe here, there is a code written to retrieve the data from TVFSP table, which we saw right a couple of minutes back. And the retrieval happened from this table based on billing type, sorry, billing block along with billing type. If those combination has been retrieved from this TVFSP table, then only 
billing won't happen if there is no entry maintained with the combination of the billing type and billing block then system will allow you to create the invoice again and again let me note it down A similar way same code has been written in the copy control routine at item level as well i will show you that as well if i go to that uh, header and you see here it's a header delivery related building and this is item related copy control routine that is four in routine number four also we see similar code has been written here so along with the routine numbers it's, it's good to know the code written inside that routine the code will give you a lot of information about what database has been what database table has been used to validate and verify few informations okay that's one thing and a similar way if it is in a order related building there also we see the similar validation has been happening you see same has been written as well here okay so now low, let's see where is the config available to assign the billing back to the billing types i'm going to spr path you can sap reference img and uh, click this sales and distribution billing billing documents and you see the define blocking reason for billing this is the path okay let me note it down so that is sales and distribution billing billing documents define billing block reason for billing this path only will do the configuration okay the first so in this config we have two options here in the first option we should define the new billing blocks here okay this is the first option the second option we need to assign that billing types to the relevant billing block right so this is how it should work billing block should be assigned to the relevant billing type to stop creating the invoices hope this video will be very helpful to you we will meet in the next video thanks everyone